you gonna be okay hanging back with the boy? Oh, Jonas and I will be all right. Aside from the last five minutes, he seems like an easygoing guy. I am an easygoing guy, usually. No hard feelings, right? I'll see you when you get back, Alex. God, can you believe Jonas back there? Blaming me for everything. Me. I can't imagine dealing with him the whole night. How have you not just, like, attacked him by now? It must be so annoying. His whole... shtick. Just like... what a complete ball knocker. He just had a bad moment, Ren, okay? It's been a night of extraordinary circumstances. I think we can cut the guy some slack. Okay. Oh, good-hearted one. I'll turn the other cheek if it'll make you happy.
So the Parks and Facilities Building is just on the way here. It's not far. Yeah, we're getting there. That's... Alex? That's Clarissa. What? How'd she get up there? Clarissa? What are you doing? She's alive. You're... You're alive? Man, I've never been so happy to see you in my life. Holy... Oh, Jesus Christ! Alex! What is happening? Ah, this is what it, I looked like when... When that stuff happened? Clarissa? Can you hear me? Oh, God, not again. Uh, I hate when this happens. Uh, can you, like, I mean, you helped me before, right? Can you help her? Is there whatever you did? Can you do it again? Ugh. I don't even want to look at her. It's so, it's making my stomach churn. 
This happened to Jonas too. It's, it's, uh, I don't know. It's like when they want to talk or something. Hey, we're not toys, guys. Clarissa, how are you uh, doing, honey? Alex, seriously, can you help me with this a little? Clarissa? To start, can you, like, climb down there and let us get a look at you? No? Don't want to? Are you... are you not possessed right now? Possessed. I am possessed. I am consumed with an unending fury. She was wonderful with her hands. Yet, I keep hurting, and I really don't want to. Is this... is this you right now, Clarissa? Or is this a ghost? Because if it's... Ghosts. Sounds pretty scary, kids. Better leave the nightlight on. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is she okay, or...? Um, that's a complicated question. Clarissa, are you alright? <sighs> Steady. Just take it easy. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Are you sure? Because you took quite a little tumble. Do you remember anything that happened? I remember waiting in Fort Milner and seeing you. Nothing else. How did I get here? You don't know how you got up there? You remember that part at least, right? Being up on the thing? Clarissa, you were dead a minute ago. Do you, do you realize that? You saw your body, no joke. Okay, well, I'm alive now, so hallelujah. You really don't remember anything? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Oh, guys, okay, I know you think we're still playing truth or slap or whatever, but this isn't real, so... Well, wait. Clarissa hasn't gotten a chance to ask something yet, so... Yeah, and you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new step... Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and I think it jump-started everything. I see. But I mean, come on, like, who knew this would happen? We thought it was a weird trick of light or something. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She creates chaos. Why? Why does it have to be my fault? Why does it have to be your fault? Are you kidding me? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like, Clarissa, you... just shut up! Look around! We're not at high school where anyone gives a crap about your pet miseries! Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until... This one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. Ugh. She is a pox, Jonas. You weren't there. No one was there, so how the hell would you know? Everyone knows. Everyone knows the freak sister who let her brother die while she clung scared to the bowline. Okay, I'm not listening to this anymore. I, I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. She's... Stop it. Right now... I mean it. Ren, it wasn't my fault, really. You don't have to convince me of anything, Alex, believe me. Now we're gonna break into that office, we're gonna find the damn key, and we're gonna go home. No. No? What do you mean? All the outs in free. Ooh, boy. I got a massive basket of deja vu dumped on my head just now. You ever get that? <sighs> I haven't had one of those since I saw those two brown dogs. Uh, I guess you don't remember, like, anything that just happened, right? Uh, think I'm gonna need a refresher, so 
I mean, judging by your face, it was probably bad. But that's about par for the course, going by the knight's uh, pattern. Clarissa, like, totally freaking out on me. Blaming me for everything more than everything? Um, I remember... I kind of remember Clarissa being... Strange? Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Strange. But that's it. All right, the office is, like, right there, so let's do it. Okay, well, we came here for the key, or whatever it's gonna end up being that lets us into the gate, so, Alex, let's get in the office. Yep, this isn't budging. All right, we're kicking this baby in. Like a... a western or something. It'll be fun. I don't get enough breaking down doors in my life, really, so I'm not gonna complain. I just wish I could remember what else she said, like, where they even keep the keys, or, like, where they stored the mail and stuff. Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? I think it's a banshee. Used a lot in the Korean War. Actually, it... Oh, wait. <laughs> it's a banshee. No, that's funny, right? We're dealing with ghosts, and a banshee's painted on the ceiling, right? It's like, I mean, it's not hilarious or whatever, but it's, uh, comical. Just forget I asked, okay? Do me that favor. You know it's great. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it, it's like there's way more stations on the dial. It says that, here's another one. It says they're wall radios, wave-assisted lock. Huh. I guess it says it's that frequency thing, where each frequency is like a key to open doors around here. They use them like identification tags, I think. It must open the gate, too. Uh, okay. Cool. Great. Oh, cool. Check this out. Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or, like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? We can head back. I'm just gonna... Here, this is... <laughs> Whom it should concern. Classic opening. This island and its history is a lie. Wow, firing on all cylinders right at the start. What? What could that mean? I've been compelled by both forces outside my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now, I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater... Forces outside our control. Like, like ghosts or the army or what was she talking about? Who knows? Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station, 140.1, and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons, and the notes within, and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! Yeah, 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 hold on. To whosoever finds the material, know that I am discomfited for keeping it hidden, and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly, for the interest of time itself. Signed, Margaret Adler. Oh, Christ. This is... This is like literally a treasure map. It is not literally a treasure map. It is literally some old woman's diuretic ramblings. We got the key. It's this new radio. That's the main thing. November, Tango, India, Quebec, Uniform, Echo, eventually. Everything becomes a Alpha, November, Tango, India, 
Quebec. Uniform. Echo. Eventually. Everything becomes a Alpha. November. Tango. India. Everything becomes <laughs> Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees. The sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were going to go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit. The sun is not out. The sun is... I guess it barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was going to be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? Did I almost step on a crab or something? You're dead. I'm dead. I'm dead? I think she's talking about the- Oh, the, the car? No, they don't- Listen, Mom and Dad know. They don't care. Well, I mean, they cared a little. But they know I can fix a broken taillight. No, 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 you- You- you drowned in in Horn Lake back at home. Yeah, and last week I died in the fire, right? You keep having these nightmares because you eat mom's cookies like right before bed. And anyways, I'm going to teach you how to swim at the pool in the park, so don't worry about it. What? How? Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knick-knack shops or whatever. No, come on. No, up. I mean in this time period. Oh, jeez, you're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? That's like the worst time. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Clarissa, doesn't this... Don't you remember we're all on the island? Nona's there. I love Nona like a three-legged puppy, but she would shrivel up and die in the sun. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's better off at home, trust me. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins' English. Truthfully, I've, um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> well, can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. 
So, uh, <laughs> do you? Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry. Did I forget something? Our whole like island horror show, ghosts and possessions, and and none of this is jarring like anything loose. If this is about Ren's movie, I mean, I told him I didn't want to do it. Half the script was an underwear scene, so, you know, no thanks. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I um, totally understand. And yeah, let's uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? He just, uh, he thinks you're a cool girl. Yeah, well, I love him too. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Ah, oh, Jesus, thank God you're back. It's like an eternity sitting here with this one. <laughs> Thanks a lot. No, I know what she's talking about. Hey, I'm interesting, I'm entertaining. See, even he can't keep it locked up. Okay, all right, I was joking. Don't salt the earth now. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um, nah, I'm good. No thanks. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I've missed you, man. I, I've just missed you a lot, that's all. Hey, come on, I've missed you too. And I know I've been hanging out with Princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door. We live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night and board game night. <laughs> All the nights. Uh, no, Michael, I can't. You're... you're not there. Well, sometimes I'm there. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. Yeah, no problem. Just... Don't get all smoochy smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? You want my unvarnished truth? I think you should dump her. Really? Why's that? Why's that? Because I think she's mean. Because I think she's a bully. Because she likes to get her way. Because... I guess that's it. Well, you see her more than I do. She's in your class. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. <sighs> you know what, Bucko? I need it more than you. <laughs> Bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Hey, kid. What the hell are you doing? Are you alright? You've just been shuffling your feet back and forth and talking to yourself like you're having a brain thing. Are you doing okay? I'm like seriously concerned here. Ren, I just... I think I just saw Michael. How? Where? Here? Is he... Was, was it like a... I... Uh, uh, I don't know what to call it. I was... Uh, it was like those time jumps we're sometimes having, right? This was... It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Just now? Like, just... What did you see? What went on? Describe it for me. It was a day I can remember, actually, when Michael and I spent a random Saturday on the beach here. It was just unbelievable to see him again. <sighs> wow. 
That's, yeah, I don't even, like, is this a good thing? I don't even know what this means. I'm like halfway between terror and, and awe right now. Like, what is this? It just sucks that he's not, that he's not here, I guess. Uh, that's, that's all. Yeah, let's just meet up with the others. Get out of here. You didn't die. Jonas, sorry, pal, but that's another five bucks you owe me. I'm like 50 bucks behind. Give me a break. <laughs> How is that my fault? Well, we can... Wait, stop. Why are you guys, like, laughing and talking and touching each other? Touching each other? With your words! Ren, just what happened? We got a, a new radio! But we can open the gate? We can open the gate, I think. Ah, good. Yeah, Clarissa's... <sighs> gone, though. Clarissa still hasn't turned up? We... did? My memory got kind of jangled, but she was there, and then she was possessed, and then she was... what? Alex. Time-looped? So, there is that. What? Where is she? Yeah, should we maybe look for her, possibly? Even if the boat plan works, we shouldn't leave her here. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? So are you going to try the gate thing, or...? If we're still going to go to the house, let's just do it. Try the radio, Alex. Turn on the Lima, India, Gulf, Hotel, Tango, for the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima, India, Gulf. Please have a boat, please have a boat, please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. <sighs> yeah. How did she get so rich if she was just like a communications person or whatever in the military? 
I think I said when we got here, her family, like, owned part of the island or something. I think she just inherited a lot, honestly. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a... Chest is all it says. 29, 18, 54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? <sighs> Negative, but... Maybe I just missed it. She made a lot of... What should I call these? Slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? Oh. Oh, it's like a... it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio. How would we know? You're the one that went. Huh. Well, uh... What's plan B if we can't find it? Um, plan B was for... The keys, they... they have to be in the house. For the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. That is a nifty gizmo. Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have like a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? In the back. In the kitchen. I don't believe you. These windows don't even... They don't work like that. How would you know you've never been here? Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. I yeah. don't care what she says. Just everyone keep your eye on her. Yeah, I just might climb through the kitchen window again. Who knows? Okay, we get it. Haha, -ha, carry on. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. It's been disconnected. Bummer. 
How are you doing? How are you doing? Look, Jonas, are we, like, okay? I mean, because of the whole taking not you to town thing. <sighs> I'm not gonna pretend it didn't bother me a little, but it'd be stupid to, like... Tonight has been bad enough. I'm not gonna crab about that. I mean, are you, like, mad at me or something? No, no, we're... I want to be okay with you. I just... If we keep at each other's throats, I don't know if I'll be able to make it through the night. Me neither. So let's just not be at each other's throats anymore. There. See? Easy. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics. And religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot of... Okay, we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping, by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Ugh. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. Ooh, you know what? This might be the, um, the chest that takes that combination. 29, 18, 54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? She must have figured it out, that there were ghosts here, and the potential for them to be running amok. I guess that's a possibility. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs, so say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Alex. Oh, Alex. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. <laughs> Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? Well, you should be. How does it go? Things are different except in a different way? <laughs> Just come downstairs so we can get started. 